The Sun, the Wind, and the Rain by Lisa Westberg Peters, illustrated by Ted Rand. This is a story of two mountains, the earth made one. Elizabeth, in her yellow hat, made the other. The earth made its mountain millions of years ago. It began as a pool underground, first fiery, hot, and soft, then cold and rock hard. Elizabeth made hers on the beach today with buckets full of wet sand. Eons passed. The earth cracked and shifted until the rock of its mountain slowly rose. Elizabeth quickly piled her sand high. She patted it smooth all the way around. The earth mountain sparkled against the sky. Furry animals walked in its lush green valleys. Elizabeth's mountain stood almost as tall as she, with twigs for trees and pebbles for animals. Elizabeth was proud of her fine sand mountain. The sun beat down day after day, year after year, on the earth mountain's sharp peaks. The wind howled through its canyons. Elizabeth's mountain baked in the afternoon heat. The breeze loosened a few grains of sand and blew them into Elizabeth's eyes and hair. Countless rainstorms pounded the earth mountain. The water seeped into its rocks, making them crumble, then tumble into small streams. An afternoon shower blew in suddenly, and Elizabeth watched as the water began to destroy the mountain she had worked so hard to build. Her tears fell as freely as the rain. The small streams rushed together to become a raging river. The river gouged a deep valley. It ground the earth's mountain's rough rocks into smooth pebbles. Elizabeth could see the rain carving little valleys into her mountain. Tiny rivers carried the sand down the beach. As the river flowed away from the earth mountain, it ground pebbles into sand and dumped the sand on a broad plain. Then it emptied into the sea. Elizabeth saw the sand from her mountain spread silently into small fans. She wiped away her tears. In just a blink of earth time, the earth mountain traded rocks for sand, jagged peaks for flat layers. After a few minutes, the shower was over. Elizabeth's mountain was just a bump on the beach. The thick and heavy layers of sand sank down, down, down into the earth until they were squeezed into layers of sandstone. Elizabeth scooped up a handful of sand from one of the small fans on the beach. She smiled. It was wet and hard just right. This time she hurried, for the sun was dropping in the sky. The earth cracked and shifted again, bending and breaking. The sandstone layers slowly rose to become a new mountain. Elizabeth finished her new sand mountain. She brushed sand off her hands, picked up her bucket, and walked back up the beach. Elizabeth is walking on the new earth mountain. She steps carefully up the steep path from the beach. When she stops to rest, she sees a smooth mound of sand far below. It looks very small. As she turns to leave, Elizabeth reaches out to touch the sandstone wall. Tiny grains of sand fall on her shoulders. She brushes them off and watches them fall to the ground, where they will stay for just a while.
in the sun, the wind, and the rain.